So last week, my buddy Mitchell, he uh, did, did a video over what he kept in his fishing bag. So this week, I'm gonna go over what's in mine. All right, so I just have a wild, wild river uh, fishing backpack. All right, so I'm gonna go over what's in this bottom compartment right here. All right, so this bag, it's recommended to hold four of these Plano 3500 series. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I just used two of them in one 3600 because it fits in there all right, I guess. I just kind of squeeze it in there, but it fits. All right, so in this 3600 series right here, I just keep my buzz baits and my spinner baits in here. I got like 50,000 of those. I have, I just have them. Okay, so then in this first 3500 series, I keep all my uh, rattle traps, my deep divers. And then we got, I don't, I've never even used these, just bought these because they look cool. Don't even use them. Got a little, got a little top water frog right there. All right, so that's about it in that one. And for this last one, the 3500 series. Which weighs about 40 pounds. Yeah, weighs about a lot. All right, I just got like a shit ton of uh, jigs in there. And then we got a couple of little weights and then Got my use these things religiously. On these my, bad boys. On my Senkos. Yeah. The old Texas rigs. Got a couple of bobbers I never use. Alright, so that's it for there. Alright, so now I'm gonna go over what I have on the outside. Okay? So I have some just some regular Germex right here just in case you get a little messy. Then in this this compartment right here, I have my uh five dollar pen reel. Okay, that, I've that never used so good. never used it before. Okay, I've yet to try it out. Might might try that in one of our next videos. And then here's the little little reel that came with it that hardly works. Okay, and then in, over here we just have the we have the good old Gerber fixed blade knife. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> yeah, I lost the flint and steel to this thing like years ago, but. Just keep it in there, it's good to have. Alright, and on these outside zippers, in this one, there is nothing, okay? So that one is empty. And then, this top one here, we uh, have my sunglasses, then I got the little, little keeper form. And then, well, let me show you the sunglasses. There's some little cheap, $20 Academy glasses, some spider wire camo. <clears throat> and then over here, we have uh, in this compartment, we have my, my good old Texas, good old Texas face mask right here, Lone Star State. Mm -hmm. And then in this, in this compartment here, we have a, uh, we, <laughs> Just the uh, little separators for... We have some rod covers, for, too. Yeah, we got a couple of rod, rod covers. covers. And then uh, we got just these little separators for the uh, for the, the little bait holders in there. The tackle boxes. Yeah, there we go. We'll edit that. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to go over this right here. At the moment, there's nothing in it, but when we go out on the water, I'll keep like my portable charger or my phone in there. All right, next we'll go over this last compartment. All right, up top. Just a big compartment. I keep some strand line in there. Not sponsored, sadly. And then we got a little fillet knife that doesn't have a cover on it. Then I got a bunch of, uh, got a couple of yum dingers. Don't work. Some zoom. Those don't work either. Uh, those, I've never tried. Put them on a chatterbait, they work. Yeah, and then just you did not just a bunch of these. These are just some frogs, and then these I used when I went on a fishing trip to Canada last summer. They they work pretty well. And I got these. Never tried these. Tried these once. They did not work. And a couple of more that I brought up to Canada with me. These two right here. These power baits. They work pretty good. Oh, these two. These little grub worms. Then got some more yum dingers that don't work. Then got some old rusty pliers. Mine. Yeah, his. And then uh, then a little fish stringer. And then 
There's a little crawfish right there. Then here's it. Uh, oh, one more. These I brought up to Canada with me too. Worked pretty well. And so this is how it looks empty. There's plenty of space in there. That's just where I keep all my soft baits. And this right here is a little waterproof compartment in it. I can throw my phone in there or anything I want to keep dry. Alright, so that's that's what I keep in my tackle bag. Cut. <laughs> Eric here with a new video for Texas Fishing Chronicles. So last week, my buddy Mitchell, he uh, did, did a video over what he kept in his fishing bag. So this week, I'm going to go over what's in mine. Alright, so I just have a wild, wild river uh, fishing backpack. Alright, so I'm going to go over what's in this bottom compartment right here. Alright, so this bag gets recommended to hold four of these Plano 3500 series. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I just used two of them in one 3600. 